Well, we got some snow. We got about uh, three inches last night. And there's another six inches coming tonight. So we got to get this snowblower fixed. So uh, stick around, guys. Wish me luck. Welcome to the doghouse. Well guys, got my part in. Hopefully uh, it goes well. I don't like this box though. That means that my uh, gasket is folded. Here we go. Two pieces of uh, MDF. That'll flatten her down. Get that good for the day. Yeah, so let's get to this puppy here. She's on the operating table. Now get ready for the transplant. Yeah, in the box we got uh, two oil seals. I don't know if I'm going to change them or not, depends on what the uh, oil seals are like. Camshaft. Got two valves. Yeah, and this one here is by uh, Huff Brother. Made in China, also. Yeah, so. Uh, Let's take this puppy out and see what she's like and see what she's like. Look at that for bubble wrap. My god. Won't even go pop. It just goes crack. Yeah, so anyway, here's the new the new camshaft. There's a there's a cup right here that's that's broke off right here and how this works apparently is as your camshaft is turning your valve runs on this lobe and you see that this here is a little bit higher and that's what gives you the relief when the when the valve lifts up over this here and then once the motor starts going the, the centrifugal force throws us here back and then this here is flush here, so you don't have you don't have that bump anymore. Bump, no bump. Hope you can see that. There, bump, no bump. So anyway, we'll put this together and call her a day. Let's tear this thing apart. Okay, first thing you want to do is take off your overhead valve cover. Don't throw this bolt on the floor. Keep the bolt inside here. Okay, now loosen off these two nuts. Loosen off the little torque screw inside here first. Because that's the uh, that's the locking screw for these. There, once you back them off, 
enough where you can turn this here down. Now take the caps off your tablets, off your valves. Okay, remove your two rods. Now remember this motor is upside down. So you got a, a black one and a silver one. Well, it's not black, it's dark. They're two different, two different shades. You can see, try not to do that. You can see there's a silver one and a gray one. There is a difference. So make sure they go back in the same spot. Okay, with that off, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take the, the sump cover off. And then we're going to take the, the casing off here. Here, put them in my valve cover. Put this aside here. Now, okay, now we're going to remove the oil pump shaft and the, the gear. The easiest way of doing that is just with a magnet. Pop that off. Put that over here for the rest of your parts. Just a little, little bit of suction on that. But anyway, I keep it the same way. I don't know if it makes a difference if it's that way or that way, but I took it out this way, I want to put it back that way. So I just like to keep all my parts together. That way I'm not going to lose them. Now I'm going to take out these bolts here, half inch drive uh, sockets. Okay, I got all the bolts out, now we've got to take this here off. Now, there's only two places you can kind of hammer. You've got these wings. Hammer on these wings. And don't hammer with a steel hammer, you got to hammer with a, with a dead pool. Work it off here. There we go. See here, the spring that's off the that's off the release. So anyway, throw that in the garbage. Okay, I just reached underneath here. This here is not touching my, my work table. I got it blocked up. Anyway, I just reached under there and I turned it around. Now what you gotta go around, gotta go around till both these marks line up. Then you know you're safe in the right position. Can you see that? Here's the two marks. One there, one there. Now you know your timing is gonna be perfect. So now you can take out your camshaft. That just kind of wiggles out. There you go. Now, as you can see, there's no decompression lifter there. It's down here somewhere. 
somewhere down here. I don't know where. Get my magnet. Oh, here's something. That's that pin that goes around and gives you that little bump. There, so we take that off. I'm going to make sure you get all the junk out of here because you don't want it to uh, stay in there and end up wrecking your engine. Oh, here's part of it. Oh, there's, there's the other half of was back behind here. So anyway, there's the other half. Let's see if there's any more. Let's see if there's any more goodies in here. You never, never know. Get all the way around there with your with your magnet. Yeah, see, there's another piece of crap. I don't know what that is. Yeah, we've got two more pieces here. Little piece here, little piece here, little pe big piece here, big piece there. Yeah, lots and lots of pieces. Lots that can. Really screwed up your engine. Now we should, we should be good on this side here, but you never, never know, right? Yeah, yeah, we're clean. There, now we can take the lifters out. That was easy enough. There. Yeah, so we can almost put this back together again. But a couple other things we got to do first. Okay, I got all this junk here. The old, the old gasket. I got to scrape this gasket off here. Both on this and the cover. So I'm not going to show you to do that. You know how to clean up a mess. So anyway, we'll be back in a bit. All right, guys. I did the dirty job. Cleaned all the gasket off of this here. Cleaned it off the case over there. It only took me half hour or so. So anyway, let's put this back together again. So you can see here where the, uh, the cam goes. So we just stick that that in in the hole and continue on okay as I put the parts in I'm going to be putting oil on the parts I don't like putting that, anything together dry and uh, I'm using SA30 uh, a lot of a lot of guys buy the the oil that uh, your local outlets that have the little picture of the lawnmower on there or whatever the case may be and they end up paying more but it's just straight SA30 30 weight oil now, seeing I run this in the winter time, I'm going to use a little thinner oil. I'm going to mix in a little bit of 5W30 regular engine oil, just to thin this down a wee bit. But uh, normally you just use SAE30. I just put a little bit on here just to, for the first time, but runs around you don't want to dry too many nice new lifters there here's a magnet put her in the hole shove her in there we go and again put a little bit of oil on there it helps it helps to go in there we go lifters are in now, put the camshaft back in. Don't forget to oil. Line up the dots. There we go. And you gotta let the dog out. Okay, here's the little marks I was telling you about. Two marks lined up. Perfect. Now I also didn't uh, 
or I forgot to mention, make sure you got all the crap out of here from your gasket. I had a little couple little pieces, I had to dig them out. You don't want that stuff floating around in there. So now let's put the governor back. The governor. Now carefully pick him up. Make sure you don't lose this little pin on the end. And it really doesn't matter about the rotation. As long as these two, the gears mesh here and here. So slide it over the, the camshaft. Wiggle the gears down and make sure that the pin is lined up with the little plate. Here you go. Make sure these here, the gears are lined up or the gears are meshed. And this pin lines up with this little, whatever you want to call it, this plate. If they're not, well, it's not going to work. So anyway, carrying on. Okay, let's get the gasket on. Pretty, pretty darn thin. But anyway, there's only one way this can go on, and that's the right way. So let's see. We've got some dowel holes. So line the dowel holes up. And... God, I don't like this here. See, it's all stretched to hell. Because it's all it's all it's all screwed up like this here. I don't want a chance of getting a buckle in. So I'm gonna use some uh, Permatex on here. I'll just run out just a very, very slight amount on there. And uh, we get her to stick. So here we go, Permatex. Run that around there. Okay, got the gasket on. I just use a little bit of Permatex just to hold it down there because it's so shitty. But anyway, let's get the top on. I, I put some oil around the uh, shaft to lubricate it a wee bit. Okay, let's get the top on. Gently put it on. You don't want to mess up the gasket. Kind of rough, and it'll, it'll go on. Well, there we go. Now, when you get down to here where this where the gasket is, you want to make sure that gasket goes down flat. You don't want it to curl up. So what I've got. <coughs> I've got a dental pick, plus a little screwdriver, I'm always trying one. There, so I've got a little dental pick. I want to use to try to get this ring in here, plus I, I've got my little flat screwdriver. I, screwdriver, I don't know which one is going to work. <laughs> but, well, I think the screwdriver is the best. <coughs> Kind of go around, just kind of tuck that the ridge in. Just kind of pull your screwdriver around. Don't push it. Yeah, just tap, gently tap it down. It just slides right into place. Now we put the. Clean the bolts off. I forgot to do that. So anyway, we'll put a little bit of lock height on it. I like to use the blue. I like to use the uh, blue lock tight. Uh, just because it, 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 it holds everything tight, but it doesn't make everything stick right super tight. So anyway, we'll Get that on, I'll be right back. Okay, we've got all the bolts in. Now I, I like to tighten them down with just finger tight. Make sure that the threads are, are, are catching. And once the, once the threads are are caught, then I can I can run them down. And these here have to be torqued. Ok, 
Okay, time to tighten this here down. I'm just going to snug them up. <clears throat> I'm not going to torque them down. I'm just going to snug them up so that everything is sitting flat. But I'm still going to do it in the, in the same pattern as I would if I'm going to torque them up. Okay, now these here have to be torqued to 220 pounds, 220 inch pounds. So to convert that over to foot pounds, just simply divide by 12. Like uh, Briggs suggests, 220 foot pounds. So that works out to about 18.3 foot pounds. So I've got my torques. Torque wrench set up. So now I'm going to start torquing everything down to the specs. When you hear a click, you stop. I click it twice to make sure. Click. Click. There we go. I just double checked it. I don't know why. I just did. Okay, now that we got that all together, we can put the oil pump drive gears back into place. So, we take this little shaft and put some oil on it. Not a shaft, a stair gear. Take this gear, put it in, same way I took it out. The oil pump shaft will go. And it doesn't matter which way you put it in, this way or that way, whatever. Whoops, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. I gotta put this in first. And then just turn it till it falls down the hole. And then you put this here in. Getting ahead of myself. That doesn't happen very often. Normally if I end up falling behind. Anyway, just turn this whole thing until it fits in. It's like Tetris. Remember Tetris? I used to like that. Come on, there we go. And the cover can only go one way. And there we go. And these here just get snugged up. Don't take too much. You'll remember, everything's made of aluminum. You'll screw it up pretty quick. Now, I didn't change the seal under here neither because Briggs recommends you don't change them if there's, if there's nothing wrong with the, the seat is just a little bit different. So if the, uh, the seat is fine, just leave it. There, we got everything all turned up. Now, one thing that some people don't know, most of these do, like, that do anything with cars, whatever, but when, you, when you're done with your torque wrench, bring it back to zero. Take the pressure off that spring that's in here. Otherwise, you're going to screw it up. Just a little fun fact.
Okay, here's what I pulled out of the engine. Here's my camshaft. This here is where the pressure release throw was supposed to be. <clears throat> the only thing that's left is a little, little piece of a spring here. Here's the other part of the spring that was down the, in the sump. Here's the throw. It got thrown. The little pin that makes a piston go bump or the valve go bump. And then two other little pieces. So that was floating around there. That could have uh, done a lot of damage if it got inside the gears and maybe not just screwed up my cam but screwed up my crankshaft too. Maybe a piston, who knows. But anyway, time to put the uh, push rods back in and set the valves. Okay, now that we've got that buttoned up, we want to put the rods back in <coughs> and set the valves. Now remember, there's two different, two different colors. We got the steel one, we got the aluminum one. The darker one is for the top. So we just put that down. And it sits on the on the valve. Put the aluminum one in. Okay, that's not sitting right. There we go. There yeah, they're both in there. Well, they should be in there anyway, but I guess to find out, just rotate it, see if they both move. There's the top one. And the bottom one. There we go. So we got them in. Now, don't forget the little caps. There's one. Here's the other one. And I'll put two lifters on. Snug these up. Okay, we gotta find top dead center. Both these here are loose right now. We put a, a screwdriver down our hole. And we'll go through the go through the cycle. Okay, this here is opening, it's closing. Whoop, whoop. Come back up. Set this one here is going down. Come back up. Come back up. Coming up. Coming up. There now. The both of them are, both of them are, are closed. Both valves are closed. And we want the screwdriver to go down one quarter of an inch. So we just turn it a wee bit. There, it went down a quarter of an inch. That's where you want to be. And now we set the so, there. So what we want on the, the top one, which this one here, that's your exhaust. It's supposed to be between five and seven thou. So I'm going to set it for five thou. Slip in there for five. That feels good there. Just hold it with my fingers for the time being. So now I'm going to just a smidgen. Then I put my wrench on. Hold it, snug it up, see what that's like. That's still nice. And then my bottom one, my other one, that's supposed to, that's the, uh, the intake. That's supposed to be between three and five thou. So I'll set it for three. Get it in there. I 
I just a nice little drag. Hold up my fingers. It just stops. Put my wrench on. Tighten her up. Uh, feels a little, a little loose. But I, I can't get five in, so it's both between three and five, so I can't get the five in. Then we'll double check the uh, the other one. I got five thou. I got five there, and I can't get seven in. So I would say that's a done deal. I'm just going to go through the cycle again and double check it. Alrighty, with the valve set, I can put the cover back on and call it a day. Done deal. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging around. And uh, now I'll get the the engine put back on the on the garden tractor. I'll do that later today. I got to get it uh, ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is supposed to get another six inches of snow. So wish me luck. Then I can get back to my Buick. So anyway, thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Take care. Bye now.